Let's talk about it, dude. Schmidt. Listen, please go subscribe. Like this video. I'm trying to build an Apex army. Because more people need douche spit in their life. So today what we're going to talk about is why you're the problem. You're the problem, brother. I hate to tell you. Don't blame society. Don't blame your girlfriend. Don't blame your mama. Don't blame your daddy. Don't blame your dog, your sister, your auntie, your video games. It ain't their fault. It's your fault. You know why it's your fault? Because of three reasons. You don't think big enough. You're scared to change. And your ego is out of whack. So we got to fix that. So today we're going to talk about why you're the problem, how to fix it. So number one. You don't think big enough, man. The average human being thinks in such a small, limited time span. They, they really think like dogs. They're living from hour to hour. They're living for Friday and the weekend. That's it. Living for the weekend. Cut that out. You need to start living for your life. Start planning things out bigger, bigger time scales. Realize you got a lot more time on your planet than you really think you do for planning and doing things that you want to do. 50 years is a long time. Just say you get to 50 years, which is a long time. Your first 10, 20 years is really you just trying to figure things out. But then you got 30 years that really got there in play. And with 30 years, 365 days, we're talking about almost 9,000 days. 9,000 days for you to figure out what you want to do, how to get bigger and bigger goals. But it starts with a small chip. You're climbing a mountain. And so you're only going to go as far as your vision allows you to go. And it's the beautiful thing about our eyes and what God has given us, two ears, two eyes, because he wants us to listen to things. He wants us to see things. And so you need to spend more time like thinking, thinking bigger. Yeah, you could be president. There's nothing to stop you from being president. Yeah, you could be the king of a country. Yeah, you could have a beautiful wife, 10, 20 kids. You could have all of it. But in order to get it, you got to think on a bigger time scale. And one of the things that happens when you think on a bigger time scale is that it allows you to have a bigger, better work ethic. Because the longer the time scale, the more you see of the survey of the land, the more you don't get so tied up to the day-to-day -day things and activities. You don't care so much about the small, petty things. Because when you're thinking about nation building, when you're thinking about wielding an army, when you're thinking about being president, overseeing communities, being an activist, being a leader, being somebody who's changing the masses for the better, you don't care about somebody not taking your trash out on Thursday. It doesn't bug you. You don't care about your, your house not being sparkly clean. Little things stop to they stop bugging you. And one of the big problems that I see with a lot of people is that they let little things pretty much ruin their life. Oh, my God, I, I stubbed my toe and now I'm just not going to do anything for the rest of the week. I'm going to miss a whole two weeks of working out because I have a bruised toe. And now that I miss this two weeks of working out, I got 20 pounds heavier. Now I got 20 pounds heavier. My clothes don't fit, so I got to go buy more clothes. Now I'm in debt. And there's a whole trickle down effect because little things, when you think little, little things throw you off course. But when you're thinking huge, big, massive time skills, little things is like, whatever, it's like a pebble, man. I went bankrupt, oh well. All right, am I still alive? Yeah, check my pulse, yeah. All right, keep going, life's all right. Lost my job, all right, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm running my own business anyway. Oh, I, I lost a finger? Well, I got nine other fingers. I can still live, I can still write. You start to change your perception of everything when you think bigger because the bigger the net that you grasp, the less you worry about the small little things. Like imagine like a fisherman. If you throw a huge net in the ocean, you're not tripping if you don't catch little sardines and mackerels and things like that. You're trying to catch big whales. You're trying to catch dolphins. You're trying to catch squid. You're trying to catch big old crab. You're not tripping about the small fish that's passing through the net. You don't care because you're thinking of a bigger target. And when you think about the bigger target, the little things don't matter as much. And this is the whole idea of fractions. This is why fractions is so important. Because when you start looking at life with fractions, you start to realize, I can I can take a couple losses. If I got 50 things that are my base, yeah, I don't mind losing four things at the top because I'm still getting 45 out of the 50. When I'm still living at 80%, 90% of what I wanted to get. But when you're only thinking a small-minded thing, when you're only thinking a fraction of like, oh, three things that make my whole life good you lose one of those things that's 33 percent of your whole thing that you're you're excited about and now that's extremely demoralizing so you got to increase that denominator of your fraction increase that as wide as possible if you got a thousand things you're working on a thousand things that you're focusing you're building on a thing that's going to influence a thousand people or a thing that's going to influence millions of people losing a couple people at the top doesn't really bug you as much and that's the mindset you have think bigger you're only going to go as far as you can see remember vision precedes movement if you can see it you can get to it 
And that's the thing you have to have in your mind. You have to really be visualizing and thinking about what you want to be, who you're going to be in the future. That way you can act towards being that person. But it doesn't happen if you don't think big enough. And another reason people don't think big enough is because they're scared of change, man. A lot of people are scared of change. And they're not scared of changing of having the output like everybody wants to be a millionaire everybody wants to be a billionaire everybody wants to have all the hot girls the nice cars the fancy watches the the cool louis vuitton shoes but the problem is people are scared of changing themselves to obtain those things they want to get those things without changing themselves and that's not how the universe works the universe is not awkward operate in that particular manner the universe rewards you proportionally to what you do in life so if you are operating in life like a millionaire even though you got a dollar fifty in your account, eventually your actions are going to precede you to getting to that million dollars. But you have to change yourself. You got to start consuming more and better information. Because listen, the only difference between you now and you being a millionaire and the best version of yourself is information. That's the only difference. It's not about how hard you work. I mean, working hard is important. It's not about how good you look or any of that stuff. What's important is how much information are you inputting into your mind. You're a million dollars worth of information missing from getting to wherever you want to be. You're uh, like if you want a nice six pack, a beautiful uh, jawline, strong arms, learn how to fight and box. You are blank so amount of information away from being in shape. You are blank amount of information from being a great husband. You are blank amount of information from being a great father. You know how you get that information? You got to read. You got to consume. You got to watch things that teach you to be the person you're going to want to be in the future. If you don't do that, you're never going to get to where you want to be. It's just the, the plain, simple math of life. Inputs equal outputs. So if you don't like your output, change your inputs. Because at the end of the day, time doesn't change. You get 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days. Everybody gets the same thing. So what's the difference between the guy with the six pack, the big muscles, and all the, the, the beautiful wife and kids? He just chooses how to use his, his time differently. That's it. So learn how to apply your time to get the outputs that you want. And it starts with information. And if you want to get that information, the last thing you have to do is check your damn ego. Jesus Christ, people's egos are so out of whack in today's age. Beyond whack. So you would think, like, I got a popping podcast. I'm in shape. Making some dough. The ladies like me. Except for the ones that ghost me 375 times. But my ego's not out of whack. My ego is almost lower than where I am in my standing. I actually don't give myself enough credit. And that's kind of where you need to be in life to some degree is you got to check that ego. So many times people give themselves so much ego love and they haven't done anything since high school. A lot of people are living off of high school glory or college glory or maybe like their first job glory. Like you ever hear those guys, man, back in my high school days, I threw for 40 touchdowns. I had the state record, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, what's I got to do with today, Jim? You work at uh, Jiffy Loop, and you've been at the same position for the last 10 years. What are you doing today? What well, doesn't matter about today? I know that I'm deserving because I was a 40 quarterback throwing touchdown, blah, blah, blah. Check your ego. You can't change if you don't check your ego. You got to realize that you don't know enough to be where you want to be, and that's okay. That's not a problem. Humility is a great thing. You got to be a little bit humble to understand, to bring yourself to ground level, to figure out where you want to go in life. If you have, and this is what's known as delusion, is where somebody's at a lower status, but their ego is so high that it's beyond, like, the, 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 the gap is really what's called the delusion. And a lot of guys are living in delusion. A lot of guys think they're not fat, even though they're 30 pounds overweight. A lot of guys think they're way funnier and good ladies, man, even though they haven't had a date and nobody laughed at their joke in the last 10 years. And this ego is killing you, man, because ego doesn't do anything for you. All ego does is get in the way of your blessings. See, God created ego for you to be able to, uh, tame yourself it's to be able to force yourself to be humble he wants you to have this large ego the ego is a animalistic thing to allow you to keep trying to prosper and grow to be better but the ego has to be managed it's a tool the ego cannot be utilized in all situations sometimes you got to be the humble servant and that's okay there's no problem being a humble servant because the king was once a humble servant and the king is a servant to his people and if you want to be a great leader a great ruler a great person of uh leadership and standing in a community you gotta check yourself you gotta be one of the people now even though your acts might be separate you from the people if the people feel a commonness when they say this guy is one of us he just chose to be better it helps them grow and inspire but if you make yourself such an unobtainable like sun god king the people resent you 
because nobody wants to feel like that. Everybody wants to feel like they have a chance to be something great. And you get in your own way by thinking you're great before you're actually great. Don't believe what people tell you. You can't like, I think Chell's son had a great saying. It's okay to read what they say about you. It's not okay to believe it. And see, a lot of believe people believe their own hype from their parents that they told them, like, you're the greatest kid ever. Or their teachers, oh, little Jimmy, you got A+, plus. you're so smart. It's nice for them to say it, and you can appreciate it, but you can't believe it. You have to know that the only way I'm going to be great is by pummeling myself and working hard and putting myself in the best situation to be successful. And understand, I'm lucky. I'm grateful for the position I got put in life. I'm lucky. I'm not some great person who just decided to be the ultimate blah, blah, blah God. It's like, no, there were so many circumstances, so many people, so many things that broke right for me to allow me to get in the position that I'm in. Like, I look at my own life. I'm not some great deity or anything like that. I had a lot of lucky breaks. I had a lot of good friends who helped me out along the way that put me in positions to be in, in the position I am today where I can be successful. I had a guy bail me out and help me uh, get my car out of repo. I had another friend hook me up and help me get a car. I had somebody who loaned, uh, bought one of my books for like 200 bucks to help me get a beater car. I had so many beautiful lucky breaks that people give me throughout my life. And because I got these lucky breaks, it helped form the man that you see today and give me the experiences I have today. If it was not for those people who were looking out for me, pushing me to be great, I don't know where I would be. And you know why I was always, I was always able to get help and people were always kind to me in that way? Because the ego, I checked my ego. I never tried to big up somebody. I never said I was just better than you. I'm not. Me and you are the same. We got more common, <laughs> we got more commonality than we have differences. And when you can start to relate to people, you can start to realize that we're all humans. We all poop, sleep, and eat the same. We all want to be loved and cared for. We all want to be respected and uh, admired. It makes life easier. So listen, get out your own way. You're the number one problem that's keeping you from being anything you want to be because you don't think enough. You're scared of change and your ego's out of whack. Check those three things. Subscribe, like this video, share, and please, people, understand you can change because I can change. And I can change because you can change. And you're probably in the midst of a great change right now. Peace.